Hello and welcome to Honey Bees and Orchids. Today is time for the second stage in making sure the bees will go into winter very well and healthy, as he well at least as healthy as possible and as is treating for Varroa. These hives will get a formic acid treat treatment that is a natural occurring uh, fluid. Um, maybe uh, you know when you got those big ant hills on for forest ants, well at least here in Europe and well ants all over the, the globe use it they use it, they spray it to defend against intruders of their hive so it's a natural uh, it's a natural fluid and what it does it, it burns the antenna and uh, the, the ends of the feet of the of the varroa mites and that way it well it can't hold on it falls off and you get rid at at least a lot of the varroa mite that may be present in the hive. Um, disclaimer: formic acid is very, very dangerous to mammal lungs. We've got little lung. Our yeah, the the particles you destroy when you smoke. Those particles will dis get destroyed very fast, very, very fast if you inhale formic acid. So do not inhale it. If you use it and it's the I, I chill it in the in the refrigerator, which makes it very cool. And it it, it works by evaporating and that's if that, that vapor that is very very dangerous when you inhale it so I use it cold I've got it in small little bottles so it's cold from straight from the fridge and making sure you get everything on the hive before you put it in the hive and make sure do not inhale it if you have many hives to do and it's very warm out it for sure will get warm in the bottle and if you open the bottle it will vaporize immediately well a bit of it and so then you need a, a full face mask with uh, certified filters to make sure you do not inhale it but if you got just a couple of hives you tip, tip it over tip it in keep your breath in and that's okay enough this is one of the reasons why I like to give them their winter food or most of the winter food before I use an formic acid treatment and this, that is the formic acid needs to be about 10 centimeters 4 inches from the brood and a nicely wintered hive as, as a supply of food above their brood so there's food here 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 and right about here it gets wider so the brood nest will be here and the food there will be food around it and that's why I like to use of like, like to winter them before I use formic acid uh, I do not recommend not doing as the manufacturer says uh, my bees are quite capable of handling Varroa. Show that, that well, that show that the tests show that, and it's recommended to give them a short burst right after honey harvest, then winter them, and then give them a big treatment. But I give give them one in between treatment. But I do not recommend not using the manufacturers. Uh, guidelines this is the paper that will the fluid will go into and from which it will evaporate there's a guidelines for how many hive boxes for different kinds of hive, hives the Dant, Zander, Langstroth I've got the Dutch National but I'll use Zander Langstroth it's the most fitting and it's gonna be 
about 20 to 25 degrees in the coming week. Well, that's during the day, of course. So, we will. There is some dotted lines that you can rip it off, like so. So, I will take the cap of the bottle, put it on there, upside down, of course. There's a little dripper in there. Now you will not film that because I need both my hands and it has to go fast to not inhale any formic acid. So, so this is the setup. Nice and quickly. The fluid will drip into the, the paper and then from that it will evaporate. You need a honey super to give it room to evaporate. And I will close it off now because I don't want to inhale any formic acid. Well, that's the treatment done. It is quite an invasive treatment for bees, but it, is, it ain't anything worse than Amitras, Apistan, Flumophil or other chemicals which, which cause resistance in the, in the mites and it leaves residue in wax, honey, in every part of the hive. This is a natural product they will not build any resistance because of it and it, it leaves residue in honey so it is only to be used after the honey harvest after the harvest the latest harvest but that's the only thing and it is a natural fluid and thank god here in the netherlands and maybe in the whole of europe but i don't know that but at least in the netherlands we are not allowed allowed to use any amitras Apistan, Flumovil or any kind of crap like that. We have to do with oxalic acid, uh, thyme oil products or uh, formic acid. And it is way enough with a good breeding system that will do the trick. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Howdy!